Hey guys, here's a Google interview puzzle. Can you solve it? Looking at a clock at 3.15, what is the angle between the hour and minute hands? As an extra challenge, can you devise an algorithm to work out the angle at any given time? If you want to have a go, pause me here. An animated solution and a quick Python program to automate this are coming up in 3, 2, 1. First, let's address the common misconception. If the time is 3.15, shouldn't the hour hand point to 3 as well? If this was the case, both the hour and minute hands would be on top of each other, and so the angle between would be 0 degrees. However, in reality, the hour hand doesn't just jump to 4 o'clock, it slowly makes its way around over the hour. So by 3.15, the hour hand should be somewhere past 3, but not yet at 4. To see this better, let's take a look at the clock's movements from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Take a look at both the hour and minute hands. The minute hand makes a full rotation of the clock in the hour, while the hour hand moves from 3 to 4 in the same time. As clocks are circles, the minute hand moves a full 360 degrees. The hour hand moves from one number to the next. Let's call this move one segment. The whole clock has 12 numbers, so 12 segments like this one make the full 360 degrees. To get one segment, divide 360 by 12 to give 30 degrees. This is the angle that the hour hand moves through every hour. Now, using this information, let's set the clock back to 3.15. At 15 minutes past, we can see the minute hand must rest at 3. So let's keep this as our base. To get the answer, we need to calculate the angle the hour hand has travelled from this base. There are 60 minutes in an hour and we're 15 minutes into it. So as a fraction, this is 50 over 60. We're 15 over 60 of the way through our 30 degrees. So multiplying the two will give us our answer. We can go ahead and cancel the 30 with the 60, leaving us with a two on the bottom. 15 over two is 7.5. So 7.5 degrees is the answer. Here, our plan of attack was to set the minute hand as a base point and see how much further the hour hand has travelled from that base point. But thinking generally, how do we go about working out the angle at other times? What about at 4 o'clock? How about at 9.20? Like this. It's time for an algorithm and a bit of py Python program automation. First, we need to collect our input time. Let's say in the hour minute format to accept times like 5.30 and also 24 hour times like 17.30. In Python we can do this by accepting our input as a string and then using the map function assign the first half of the string before the colon to hours and the other half to minutes, both cast to integers. Next, to calculate the minute hand angle at any time, we can't rely on a variable base like we used before. So let's fix our base at the vertical 0, 0, 0, 0, like so. This way we never have to change it. If we divide our minutes by 60 to get the fraction of an hour that the minute hand should have turned by, we can multiply this by 360 degrees, the total degrees the minute hand can turn. 360 divided by 60 is 6, so the position of our minute hand is just the minutes multiplied by 6, like so. For the hour hand, it's similar. But since we're accepting inputs for 24 hour times as well, we must subtract 12 hours from those times that are greater than 12, i.e. shifting 17.30 to 5.30. The modulus remainder function will help us do that. From here, it's a similar method to before. Find the position of the hour by multiplying it by 30, and then adding on the minutes divided by 60 multiplied by the angle of a segment, which is 30. Altogether, this gives minutes multiplied by 0.5 when simplified. Now, to find the angle between, we just need to subtract the two hand positions, by, but stick an ABS on the outside for absolute. We're only interested in the positive difference between the two hands, removing any negatives when the minute hand is ahead of the hour hand. Also, if you look at the clock in the top corner, the angle we're pretty much always interested in is the smaller angle rather than the larger reflex one. So if our angle is greater than 180, just subtract our angle from 360, the whole circle, to grab the smaller angle that we want. Finally, just package our answer in a nice output format to solve the puzzle for any input time. 
In total, this is the program. Let's have a go and enter the time 9.20. If we do this manually, we should get the answer of 160 degrees. As expected, we do get 160 degrees. If you would like to play around with the code, I've linked the program in the description below. Thanks for watching Beat the Calculator. See you next time for more logic and maths fun.